there, this is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new, and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, today I have planned for you a collective card reading for the week of December 6. I'm going to be using various card decks, and I'm going to be integrating a singing bowl meditation and some crystal infused Reiki energy healing. So you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy this collective card reading. Let's go ahead and begin with a singing bowl meditation. Let's take a few deep breaths together. Breathe in positivity, love, and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Breathe in positivity, love, and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Breathe in positivity, love, and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Just relax, let go, and surrender to the flow. Just relax, let go, and surrender to the flow. Just relax, beautiful soul. Let go and enjoy these sound healing frequencies intended to purify and uplift your mind, body, and spirit.
Okay, beautiful soul. Now let us begin with the collective card reading for the week of December 6th. Let's go ahead and draw from the Wild Offering Oracle card deck first. Okay, we have a few cards that just came up on the top. Self-sufficiency. Okay, the ultimate self-sufficiency is relying on God, the universe. It doesn't mean hiding in a cave and saying, I don't need people. Instead, it's saying, God is my source and I am willing to receive all the help, love, and support that wants to come. So beautiful soul, self-sufficiency must go. Now is a time to be more open-minded, more open and receptive to receiving help when and if needed. It's okay to receive help from others if we're going through something. So just know that unity is key. So if you're feeling like you're needing extra help or assistance at this time, there's no shame in asking for help or assistance. There's no shame in reaching out if you need that support, if you need that shoulder to cry on, or if you need to reach out to a friend and talk about what's going on, or if you need to book that therapy session or that life coaching session, okay? Now is a time to get out of isolation, get out of that self-sufficiency feeling like you must figure everything out on your own. That's ego, that's fear, and know it's okay to be open and receptive to receiving help and love and support from others and feelings. Okay, so the feelings card came out. Some of you may be going through an emotionally turbulent time or a lot of emotions may be coming to the surface. If so, get to a body of water for some emotional healing. Get to a lake, a pond, a stream or a river and just imagine all the feelings and emotions that come up. Imagine them being washed away in the river, in the stream. It'll be very cleansing for you. And when you get into the shower, imagine the hot water just washing away all of the emotional burdens, all of the stress, all of the, the cares and the worries all away. Imagine the shower being an energy cleansing tool. And it says emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine, to offer all emotions to you feeling them fully so they no longer hold me captive. Okay, yes, beautiful soul, we must feel something in order to truly heal it. And suppression of emotions is what leads to depression. Suppression is depression. So be sure that you're being aware of the emotions and feelings that are coming up. And instead of suppressing them and blocking them and ignoring them, acknowledge them, feel them to heal them, allow them to come up to the surface to be released and then let them go. Let them go to make room for the new and better things that are trying to come in. And gratitude came out. Attitude of gratitude is key to happiness and success in your life. Now is a time to write a gratitude list of all of the people, places, things, and circumstances you're grateful for in your life at this time. Even if you're going through something difficult, painful, or heavy right now, gratitude is the secret to success, to healing, okay, to transmuting the dark into light, okay? Find just one thing that you feel grateful for right now and let that gratitude pour through your body. It's a healing bomb like the warmth of the sun. So gratitude really is a healing tool that we can use to find the bliss in every given situation, both the good and the bad. And gratitude really helps to raise our vibrational frequency to that of love, light, and healing and helps work in our favor when it comes to the law of attraction and attracting and magnetizing good things to us. All right, so I'm going to draw from the Earth Magic deck. Let's see, okay, this card, oh, two cards came out. The waterfall card, effortless. Okay, now is the time, if you can, to get to a waterfall because it's going to be super healing for you on a soul level. And it's been theorized that waterfalls are actually portals to the spirit world, that waterfalls serve as a bridge between earth and the spiritual realms. So if you can get to a waterfall for some healing on an emotional and spiritual, mental and physical level, 
and allow the water as it flows and trickles down to have an effortless healing effect on you, on your mind, body, and spirit, okay? And learn from the waterfall and that the water just effortlessly trickles and falls down. Imagine your emotions just kind of doing the same. Allow your emotions to ebb and flow without resistance, okay, through your energetic body and feel them to heal them. And the shaman card came out. All right. Awesome. So now is a time to tap into the ancient healing wisdom that you hold within beautiful soul. If you're going through something right now, now is a time to go within and listen for the answers within you. If you are going through sickness or if you are going through something that needs to be healed in your physical body, now is a time to really go within and listen to what your body is saying that you need. Your body's a lot smarter than you give it credit for. If you're craving a certain food, chances are there are nutrients and vitamins in that particular food you're craving that your body needs in order to be healed. Okay, we all contain ancient wisdom within us in our DNA. Okay, you'll naturally know what vitamins you need. You'll naturally know what foods are going to supply the nutrients you need based on how you feel. Okay, so listen to your intuition because your intuition is going to guide you to the healing tools and resources you need to get your body back into alignment, to get your body back into balance and harmony. And let's go ahead and see what spirit animals want to come out for this collective card reading. I always love spirit animals. These are my favorite. Uh, they are wonderful to have as guides along our journey. Okay, we have that one that came out. Let's see what else wants to come out. Okay, this is exciting. So, we have three cards that came out. We have the Owl Spirit, which says, you can see clearly now. All right. So, Owl is a very powerful spirit animal. So, many of you tuning in are now able to see the bigger overall picture as to why you're going through something at this time. Okay, some of you may be going through something pretty heavy and turbulent right now, but you're seeing the bigger overall picture as to why this may need to be taking place to get you to where you need to be. And oftentimes, if painful experiences arise, they can serve as a catalyst for spiritual growth and in a, in a weird sense to help empower us down the road long term. So just know, beautiful soul, no obstacle is too great. You have the ability to overcome anything and you can see clearly now because your perception is clear. You're very wise and you're beginning to see more with your third eye, your sixth sense, your pineal gland, rather than these two physical eyes, because it's our third eye that's our true eye that guides us, our intuition. So be sure that you are observing everything you're going through in your life from this third eye, from the higher, broader perspective, seeing the bigger overall picture, continuing to have that perspective and hold that perspective going forward, and all will be well. And Deer Spirit came out. This is one of my favorite spirit animals. Deer Spirit is reminding you to be gentle with yourself. Stop being so harsh on yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back for how far you've come because you've come a long way on this journey. Now is the time for some more self-love, self-care. Be gentle and compassionate with yourself. Let go of any guilt or shame or self-blame. Now is the time to release any self-blame, okay? And just know that everything does happen for a reason and everything is a lesson and a blessing, okay? There really are no mistakes, just lessons. And just take one lesson at a time as it comes, one step at a time, one moment at a time, and just enjoy life one day at a time and all will be well. Now is the time to practice some meditation and practice exercises that help you to get back here into the present moment right here, right now. Do some grounding activities, get outside into nature and take off your shoes and put your bare feet on the grass on Mother Earth. This is going to be very healing as you connect with Mother Earth more deeply, soaking up those negative ions and balancing your body's bioelectromagnetic circuit. I did this yesterday and it was awesome. I went to the lake, I went for a hike, and then afterwards I took off my sneakers and I immersed my feet into the sand and it was just so healing 
and so soothing. So beautiful soul, connect with Mother Earth like the deer, connect with the elements, and do some earthing and grounding, and maybe consider a plant-based diet, since deer are plant-based, okay? And consider eating more high vibrational foods, because food can be a medicine or a poison, depending on what we are eating. And the more nutrient-rich foods, the more plant-based, the more organic foods we can eat, the more that we'll be able to nourish our temples. Okay, so you are being asked to be more conscientious and aware of the food choices that you're making, being sure that you are feeding your temple with foods that nourish your mind, body, and soul, and that are strengthening your immune system. And Bobcat Spirit came out, which says, life is truly a mystery, and it's okay to have unanswered questions in our life. We are not meant to know the answers to everything. Some things are meant to remain a mystery and that's okay. Just know that all of the answers that you really truly need to know will be revealed to you in divine timing. Okay, so everything that you need to know comes to you in divine timing. So rest assured that all is well and all of the answers are within you. If you just silent outside distractions, get to a place of quiet, you'll be able to hear what your intuition is telling you. Allow your intuition to be your guide. And Bobcat Spirit is also calling you to empower yourself. Take back your power now. Reclaim your power. Stop giving away your power to people who are unworthy of your time, to people who are only using you for what you can give them, okay? You are worthy of people who love you unconditionally, okay? And who love being in your presence and who don't expect anything from you. Be sure that you're extra conscientious and aware of the people you're allowing into your sacred circle, into your sacred space, because you are worthy of surrounding yourself with those who love you unconditionally, who celebrate you, and who expect nothing in return from you, okay? You are worthy of that unconditional, beautiful, blissful love, beautiful soul. So we have a beautiful uh, collective card reading for the week of December 6th. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send some crystal infused Reiki energy healing to bring you peace of mind and healing wherever you may need healing at the time of this video. Just relax, beautiful soul, and be open and receptive to this healing, which is intended for your highest and greatest good. First, I'm just cleansing your aura, cleansing away any negativity or any worries or doubts or fears that may be deeply embedded in your subconscious mind, releasing all of that at this time. And sending Reiki energy healing to you for your highest and greatest good and perfect comfort, harmony, balance and alignment. Sending you physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing, and mental healing across time and space for your highest and greatest good. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your chakra energy centers, starting with your crown chakra at the top of your head. Envision the color violet purple as we cleanse, balance, and heal your crown chakra. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your third eye, Ajna chakra. Envision the color indigo blue as we send healing to your third eye, Ajna Chakra. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your throat chakra. Envision the color ocean blue as we send healing to your throat, to your thyroid. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your Anahata Heart Chakra. Envision the color green as we send healing to your heart space at this time. Releasing any grief, sadness, heartache, 
despair, and filling you up with unconditional love, joy, and happiness at this time. Healing your heart, beautiful soul. Healing your heart. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your solar plexus chakra. Envision the color sunshine yellow as we send healing to your solar plexus chakra right at your stomach. Envision the color yellow. Balancing your digestion at this time. And empowering you to become your greatest version. And embrace life. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your sacral chakra. Envision the color orange as we send healing to your navel belly button, your creative energy center. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your muladhara root chakra. Envision the color brick red as we send healing to your root chakra energy center. Bringing everything back into balance. 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 Daikonia. 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 sending you infinite love and divine wisdom, infinite love and divine wisdom, infinite love and divine wisdom. Now, beautiful soul, I want to thank you so very much for tuning in to this collective card reading, singing bowl meditation, and crystal infused Reiki energy healing. If you would like to book a personal card reading with me, you can email me at weathershaman1111 at gmail.com. Put personal card reading as the subject line of the email. Send me your birth date, two-digit day, two-digit month, four-digit year, and a recent picture of yourself, and I'll be more than happy to set something up with you. And I want to thank you for tuning in. I am sending you an abundance of peace love and light from me to you. Go forth in perfect love, harmony, balance, comfort, and alignment. Namaste, beautiful soul.